Hello and welcome to Fantatrax TV. It's time for another unboxing video and this time we are going to be having a look at the Rise of Skywalker Ray due out on the 4th of October, part of the uh, Triple Force Friday, but we were very lucky enough to be given one of these when um, Mark attended the Pinewood uh, reveal. So uh, I've stolen it from him so that we can open it. I promise I will replace it when they come out, Mark. But anyway, let's have a look. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, we have new content every Wednesday and every Saturday. And if something exciting happens in between, well, we then report on that as well. And in fact, next week's a good week because Mark and I are in New York Comic Con, uh, where there should be lots of good things going on, including some Hasbro goodness there. So, uh, yep, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Right, let's have a quick look at the box. So we start off with Star Wars The Black Series. And there's Ray with Dio, and it's got Ray's gun there. You got the lightsaber, which is blue. Looking at that, and you've got her staff. Um, that's the warning certificate that I managed to shake in, so because it was actually in front of her when we got this. There's the artwork of Ray, looking oh so more statesman's like than she was in the Force Awakens, and it says Ray and Dio. Got all the warnings. So look at the bottom, and there's the barcode that people so love. There we go. And then look on the side, we're at number 91. Getting there. And Ray and Dio. So nothing on the top. Ray and Dio on the side, in red and in the grey. And then I go to the back. And it says, Star Wars Black Series, number 91. Ray. Rey continues to study the Jedi ways, but she grows concerned about what the future and the Force may hold in store for her. Ooh, can't wait to see that bit in the film. Oh, not bit. See how she develops in the film. Get it right, mate. Right, Dio. Cobbled from odds and ends in the workshop of a droid smith, little Dio is an impressionable little roller that becomes fixated upon BB-8. So there we go. Dio's obsessed with BB-8. Hmm. And there's the artwork of Ray. Shame we've not got some artwork on Dio unless I'm missing it. There we go. Right, I'm going to open this up and we can have a look at the figure proper. Right, so there we go. There's the figure in its plastic. Let's take the bits out. First off, we'll take Ray's star, which I've broken already. Well done, me. Well, that was impressive. I think it actually does come apart, he says. Ooh, yeah, it does look. Doesn't look particularly robust though, but there we go. That's Ray's staff. And there's the saber. And as you can see, it's got the reinforced bit in the middle where it snapped apart in The Last Jedi. It does look a little bit darker, but that is definitely blue. Ray's pistol that was given, not given to her, was it? Was it given to her? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was. Um, Ray's pistol. So interesting, she still uses that. And, oh, pop the right out. There you go, crumple, crumple. There's Ray. Look at that. How good does that look? The paint tech is so good. And, yep. Oh, she's got a little pack on there. We'll look at the figure in a second. Dio, been looking forward to this. There it's Dio, and oh look, the wheel goes round, or Dio's wheel goes round. Head doesn't swivel, so I'm already into articulation. So basically, it's a bit of a static figure, but kind of awesome. Oh, and the antenna definitely moves there. Oh, very cute, but yeah. Nice, nice that it comes packaged. Yeah, lovely. Right, uh, let's have a quick look at articulation on Ray. So, head moves. And as we've got used to, doesn't have the plastic bit that you can see there, so it looks like a ball joint. Awesome. Uh, shoulders. Uh, arms, yep. Elbow, should I say. Yep, that moves there. Hands, that's cool. Same on the other side, pivot on the waist a little bit, that's a bit, 
I think it's the rucksack. No, no, it does. She just doesn't move. Oh, there she goes. I've clicked. So the waist does move. Thighs, knees, feet, all you'd expect. And the holster there for the gun. So all in all, really good. Like I say, the face tech there is quite phenomenal. So I'm going to put Ray into the poses. Now this is the only figure, like I say, we managed to get this uh, because Mark attended the Pinewood event, so uh, this was in the goodie bag afterwards. So thank you very much for giving us this. We need, to, I think, we need to say that it's free. Uh, although I will be buying Mark a new one on Force Friday from New York. Um, I think this is the same figure that comes in the first day packaging. And actually, I read about the white first day, fa yeah, white first day packaging, and um, apparently that's only going to be available in bricks and mortar in America. I think over here it's a bit different because we don't have too many shops. I'm hoping some of the online retailers like in demand star action figures and kapow will stock them but in the us i think entertainment earth said it's only going to be the white packaging in bricks and mortar places so uh mark and i are in new york comic con so yeah subscribe to see that but we'll be uh, trying to get them there as well but anyway long story short i've got to replace this for mark i bet he's going to go for a white box if i can get one um meanwhile let's get ray into the poses and you can look in more detail Salutations. Uh, hello, chaps. Uh, great that you watched the video. Really pleased that you uh, took the time to watch it. Now, if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, tell all your friends. Uh, subscribing is good because we have new videos every Wednesday, every Saturday. So don't miss out.